access the behavior tree editor, all that's required is you need to go to the Anything World dropdown after installing the plugin and select the behavior tree editor option. This will open a new window, which will display the open behavior tree window. Select an existing one from our list of predefined behavior trees as seen here, or you can create your new behavior tree. In this example, I will open up an existing one. This is an example of our spline movement behavior tree. What this will allow us to do is visually script what we want to accomplish. For example, we have the root node, which is the entry point into this specific behavior tree. We have a parallel action. What you see here is a parallel composite node. This allows us to run two things simultaneously, uh, parallel meaning two things running in tandem, and two scripts. So these are custom made scripts. The really cool part about this is that you can even open them up in your preferred code editor to have a look. It also means that you can create your own custom scripts as well when fleshing out your own behavior tree. Here's an example. All that was required is to double click on any of the nodes and then you can see everything in the script that we've created for this specific behavior tree. From here, we can include other actions such as Go to the actions option here. You can see we have various other actions. So here is a folder of movements. This is our bird goal, flying vehicles, ground animals, nav mesh for ground animals, uh, move to goal in 3D space, and our uh, wheel vehicles. So I can also log things simultaneously. I can write a message such as this is moving along a spline. Now when I attach this behavior tree to a instance of a uh, recorded model from Anything World, it's very easy to do. I just mount this here and now import a 3D model. So um, if we open our make settings here, scroll down, we can see uh, the list of default behaviors and these correspond to uh, existing behaviors. In this example, we have a spline movement here. So what if we were to take this and move the spline into the animated? section. And now when we import this model here, so for this example, we have uh, updated our spline movement behavior tree, and I have included this in the transform settings here, where you can see the animated slot. I have updated this to the spline movement behavior tree. Well, I will go ahead and mount that there for now. And what I would like to do now is I will import a model. When this model is imported, we should see that this model has a couple components. First one is that it has the behavior tree runner and that it utilizes the spline movement clone. Cool, okay, so that worked correctly. Create an empty game object here for our spline object. So we can type in path creator, excellent. And then we will set this to flat, close path. So now we have our spline set up and our cat is set up with this. So we will attach this game object here to the path creator. And then if we play, ideally what we will see is that we have an animated cat running around and we can see that it is logging this message in our console. So everything is working as expected. If you are curious to learn more about the behavior tree, I would highly recommend checking out our documentation. We have a great section called What is a Behavior Tree? which will explain everything in thorough detail. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at port at anything.world or on our Discord.